Hello everyone, my name is Ajaz Patel and you are watching Ajaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 14 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with video. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully delete the subcategories and categories from here. So in this tutorial, we are going to working on the adding languages. So let's get start. Before we start, if you don't subscribe my YouTube channel, also subscribe yet and press the bell icon whenever I upload the new videos, then you can get the direct notification into your inbox. So let's get start. So first of all, what we are going to do here, just uh, we are going to open the cat page here and come back here and go to the body left section. And here we are going to add one link here with the name view all languages view all languages okay so here i'm going to change the gate with the lang means languages and also I'm going to again create a one if condition here with the length and here also we are going to change the page with the length okay then uh, we are going to body right here also we are going to change something paste that one from here change the get with the length okay so now i'm coming here control plus a control plus c control plus n to create a new page select php paste that one from here control plus s to save with the length okay uh, length.php save this one from here and here i'm going to change with the add language okay and here also we are going to change with the language name okay and delete all are the same and then add language okay so now i'm also changing this name with the cat name to lang name and also here add cat to add length okay and then uh, okay all are set so now i'm going to open function.php go to nc and function.php here it is and find the add cat function here it is so copy this function from here and paste that one from here and change the name with the add length okay and here also we are going to change the post matter name just because we change the name with uh, there so we need to change it here so just look at here uh, add length and length name okay so add length length name all are perfect select star from length where length name just because we are going to check it it is already available or not length okay also here length so row count double equal to one so it will give the message like uh, language already added okay and here length okay and if that language is not available into our database so we are going to add that one from here with the length underscore name okay and here lang name here also we are going to change language added successfully and here length okay 
Also, we are going to change the get from uh, get from here with the link, and here also with the link. Okay. So all are set, all are perfect. So now what we are going to do here, we are come back into the database and create one table with the link. Three columns, language ID and language name. Only two columns. Okay. Go. Language ID and then lang name okay integer and that will be work here 10 or uh, 50 okay and then auto increment and primary key save that one from here so our table is saved now so i'm come back into here so just look at here when i click on this view length so just look at this view length okay when i click on this one and change the placeholder name so come back again here and enter language name okay so when i'm going to refresh that one just look at here so i'm going to add that language so add okay nothing is going to happen here yeah okay just because we doesn't change this one add get to add lang okay just uh, refresh that one again and then click on this one english add language so just look at this now language added successfully which means our language is added successfully so i'm come back again here browse and just look at here here also we get the language okay let's try to add one more language with the hindi add language so just look at here language added successfully here just look at here hindi is also coming from here so now the next task is we need to display this one from here that language is from here okay so how can we do that so simply we are going to again function.php and we will copy this function from here by control c we all cat function we will cat function and paste that function from here and change the name with the view get to view line okay select star from line okay change the variable also it doesn't need to change but uh, for the explanation purpose i'm going to change it Lang. get to lang okay and then here lang name lang name okay then after we also create one variable with the link just look at here edit get to edit lang we are again creating one uh, get from here and we change the get to lang okay just we we done be, uh, before okay and here lang id and also here lang id okay so that language id will be coming from here okay now again going to language.php and here i'm going to change this function with the lang okay so now i'm going to come back here and refresh it so just look at this now language name hindi english are coming so now uh, our next task is edit that one from edit and delete that uh, language from here so i think guys this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe channel we will see you next tutorial in next tutorial we are going to working on edit and delete that uh, links from here so stay connected with me, stay tuned, thanks a lot for watching guys, see you in next tutorial, goodbye.